Hey guys, welcome to this video today. Um, I am, I'm going to um, go over binomial probability distribution and uh, what it is, how do we find it, how do we use the formula, and um, just a couple of examples of um, you know, using the TI Inspire to figure out these binomial probability distributions. So by, by now you should know how to do a geometric probability. So let's, I'm going to use this example to help me just describe how we're going to figure this out. So um, a basketball player has made 80% of her foul shots during the season. Assuming that the shots are independent, find the probability that in tonight's game she makes exactly 5 out of 6. All right, so uh, if we think about this, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of ways that she could make 5 out of 6. It's not as saying that it's the, in her, she makes her first success on the fifth term. The fifth shot, that would be a geometric probability. Um, a binomial probability, we often see a... Um, a number of trials n, okay, out of a certain number. So how could we write that? Well, we can write it as she could, um, you know, she could miss. Just, just real quickly, our probability of success here is 0 0.80, and our probability of failure is 0 0.20, right? So uh, she could miss the first one, make the second one, and then miss all. Oh, she needs to make exactly, so she would make the rest of them, right? Um, so we would write that as 0.20 times 0 0.80 to the fourth power. Well, um, she could. This could be one way she could do it. She could also make the first one, um, and then miss the second one, and then make the rest of them. Right. So make the next three. Well, th this is a different situation, but it represents the same thing. But we have a different possibilities. And notice here that we can write this the same way as we wrote. This one here. Well, you know, she could also, uh, you know, she could make this the first two and miss the third one and then make the next two. So you kind of see here that there are several different ways. There are different ways that she can do that. And we can keep doing this, um, you know, and we'll see another two times. We could keep doing it to and, and add up all the probabilities because um, we need to know how many, the multiple times that uh, there are different possibilities that she could get exactly five out of the six shots. So instead of us writing all these out, because you know if we had something like um, she makes exactly four out of the six, now we're going to have a lot more possibilities, right? We're going to use a combination in order to find how many possibilities there are. So if you remember, um, we have a combination. Sometimes you see it as NCR or um, and choose R. This is the form. This is what I'm going to use here. We say and choose R. All right. Actually, I'm going to use I'm going to use an X uh, because it's going to make a little more sense for uh, what we're doing to use an X for this, where X is the number of um, uh, the number of successes that we want. Right. X is the number of successes. And n is the number of trials, all right? So we have six things with one success or five successes, right? So we're gonna we're gonna that's how many combinations there are of this probability, okay? Of this one right here. So um, so here's what this looks like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna take this. Notice that we have 0.20, so we're gonna have 0.20 um, times uh, 0.80 to the fourth. And we're going to multiply by the number of possibilities, and that we're going to get by our combination. So we have six. And we're going to choose five, All right? And this is going to be our probability. Of five out of six. All right. So this is our probability. This is called a binomial probability. Okay. This is a binomial. We're going to use a binomial distribution. Now, in general. Uh, what we see is um, we see we see this is our general formula. So if you want our general formula, it's going to be um, n choose x, and it's going to be uh, p to the x times q to the x minus one, and q is the uh, the probability of failure. P is the probability of success. It's the number of trials. Oh, not I'm sorry, n minus x, not x minus one. Sorry, I think I did that in my class too. <laughs> Wrote that right, down wrong. It's n minus x. Okay, so notice here it's, this is to the one. We need uh, four and five. These need to add up. Um, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oops, I missed one here. Sorry. One, two, three, four. That one I had five. Oh, missed one here too. Sorry, we had six things. So these should be fives. Five, five, five. This should be a five. Okay. Uh, what should happen here is that these powers, five and one, they should add up to the number of trials. Okay, and this this one's always what this is. All right, so we would we do this in the calculator. Now I'm going to show you how to do this in the calculator using the binomial PDF or the binomial CDF. Now this is a binomial PDF, so let's go ahead and go to our calculator. All right, and so now we're going to go to um, menu, probability, distributions. We're going to go down to binomial PDF, and our number of trials is six. And six. Our probability of success is 0 0.80, and our x value is five, because that's how many. That's our x value, right? That's how many uh, we want. Exactly five out of the six. Hit OK, and we get 0.39. All right. So we're gonna. The probability here is 0 0.39, or 39 percent. All right. Let's take a look at another one. This is the probability that she makes at least at least three out of the six. So the probability that she makes at least three out of the six means that she can make, um, you know, at least means she can make three, four, five, or six, right? At least, so we could write this out as uh, six choose three, point two zero, point eight zero, three, plus, six choose four point two zero squared times point eight zero to the fourth plus six choose five point two zero to the third point oh not to the third squared <sighs> sorry guys uh, to the one point eight zero to the fifth, right? They got to add up to six, plus six to six, um, point eight to the sixth, and this would be point two to the zero. But we don't need that, right? So this would be our probability, our binomial probability, written out because it could be three, four, five, or six. All right. So when we're doing something like this, we can use in our calculator binomial CDF. All right, because it's cumulative. We've got a lot here. So let's go ahead and go to our calculator. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu, probability, distributions, and go down to binomial CDF. Our number of trials here is six. Our probability of success is 0 0.80. Our lower bound is our lowest number that we want, which is three. And our upper bound is going to be six because we're, we want three to six successes. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to get 0.983. All right. So our answer here is 98.3%. All right. So why don't you try this one out here for a second? Pause it and then try this one out. Okay. So we want at most three out of six. So at most three out of six means zero, one, two or three we don't want anything bigger than three right because we want at most three so we're gonna we're gonna write this out and then we're gonna put it in our binomial cdf so it's gonna go six choose zero uh, i'm just gonna flip it here eight eighty percent to the zero point two to the six plus six choose one point eight to the one and point two to the fifth plus six choose two, point eight squared, point two um, to the fourth, plus six choose three, point eight to the third, and point two to the third. Okay, so this is our binomial probably written out, and we're gonna go and enter that in our calculator now in a binomial CDF. So menu, probability, distributions, binomial CDF our number of trial our number of trials is 6 our probability of success is 0.8 our lower bound here is 0 and our upper bound here is 
three. We're gonna hit OK, and we get 0 0.098. 0 0.098. Okay. 0 0.098, or we can write it as 9.8%. All right, so that's how we use, uh, that's a binomial probability distribution, and this is a few examples, and that's how we use our TI Inspire to do these types of problems. Okay, thanks for joining me. I hope this helped. Goodbye.